And is anyone going to clean up these bodies, or are you just going to let them lay here and rot? I mean, the smell is going to be terrible. And look, these people are here eating dinner. I'm right behind you. All right, Talium, come on, Scarlet Witch, let's go. I, I, I'm just shocked. I mean, I, I can see the point in celebrating a victory, but to leave corpses laying out on the floor like that? Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. since the war. Come on, Talium, Scarlet Witch. Need something? Who are you people? Make it quick. What have you got for sale? Take a look. Hmm, weapons, huh? All right, thank you. All right, then. So it looks like they've cleaned up the place since the last we were here. Everything was blocked off and boarded off. I'm just curious to see what's happened. Has anything else changed? Okay, we have Imperial soldiers. Instead of Stormcloak soldiers. Let's go in and see who's running the show. Who is this? Jarl Scald? Wait, isn't he from Dawnstar? Oh, what? They left the bodies here? Wow! Okay, so who's the new Jarl? <laughs> Jarl Brunwolf Free... Wait, you? Good to see you. Wow. How are, how are you settling into your new role? Every day is a storm waste. But a Nord doesn't back down from a fight when the cause is honorable. I just wish things were simpler. In my days as a soldier, I knew who the enemy was and how to defeat him. Unfortunately, a sword can't repair damaged buildings feed hungry people or undo years of prejudice. Hmm. So are there any plans to renovate the Grey Quarter? I've taken the first steps toward doing so already. Oh, really? I met with several of the Dark Elves to discuss improvements in the Grey Quarter. But we have no real plans as of yet. First, we'll need to refill our coffers and stockpile stone and wood. The war took a heavy toll on Windhelm's resources, but I swore an oath to our Dunmer friends that for as long as I sit on the throne of Windhelm, their needs will not be ignored. Oh, very good. And what about the Argonians? Will you let them into the city? I'd like to, but it's not as simple as that. Most of the folk in the city believe, as Ulfric did, that outsiders should not be trusted. Until those people learn to accept the Argonians, they must remain outside, for their own safety. Old habits don't die easily, and we Nords can be as stubborn as stone. I see. So is there anything else you need? There is room in my court for a new thane. It's an honorary title mainly, but there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold, and who owns at least one piece of property in my city. If you help my people, and purchase a house from my steward, and I'll make you my fame. Well, okay. I've done a lot of work here in the city as it is. It would be an honor. The honor will be mine. 
Yes, I've already helped everyone, it seems. Keep safe. Are you the steward? No, Captain Lonely Gale, really? Good to see you. I'd like to purchase a house in the city. Splendid. There's a house available right now. I'll take it. Wonderful. Here is the key to your new hall. All right. Why did Brynwolf, Runwolf, choose you to be the steward? Well, a few reasons come to mind. In my days as a riverboat captain, I was known to run a tight ship. That, and I made my fortune knowing when to spend my septims and when not to. I can't stand waste. All right, so is the war really over? I wish I could say that it was, but it's not that simple. Many Stormcloaks will fight until they die, because they still believe they're fighting for Skyrim's freedom. But without Ulfric, the movement will wither and die. It's only a matter of time. Who are the prominent citizens in Windhelm? There's an author named Adonato staying at the inn. He's published a few works of historical fiction. The clans Shattershield and Krulsi see most of the gold that passes through the city. Oh, and that busybody Viola Giordano. She's got her nose in everyone's business, which I guess is one way of being prominent. Okay, well thank you. Good speaking with you. And is anyone going to clean up these bodies, or are you just going to let them lay here and rot? I mean, the smell is going to be terrible. And look, these people are here eating dinner. I'm right behind you. All right, Talium, come on, Scarlet Witch, let's go. I... I... I'm just shocked. I mean, I, I can see the point in celebrating a victory, but... To leave corpses laying out on the floor like that? Let's go. Alright, well it seems that Wil Windhelm is slowly rebuilding, or quickly, depending on how you look at it. Silda? I can always make time to speak with you. Here, have some gold. Oh, thank you. Divines bless your what can kind. I do Come heart. visit again sometime. All right. Where are my traveling companions? A few septims for my supper is all I ask. All right. We've been given a mission. There have been some complaints about a cult up in the hills. Let's go check it out. ready. I'm not sure what to expect. We are Lord Boethius Faithful. Have you come to test your mettle? Well, there have been some complaints about whatever's going on up here. Is this some sort of a cult? We are forged by Boethia's example. We carve our will upon the world through our tongues and our blades. You, you are nothing. An empty vapor dispersed by the slightest breeze. Who is this Boethia? The Lord of Plots, Deceiver of Nations, Devourer of Trinomach. The Queen of Shadows, Goddess of Destruction, He who destroys, and she who erases. Many are our Lord's lofty names, but they befit only us mortals. Intone her mighty names from now until the end of time. It is for naught. Names mean nothing to our Lord. 
She only cares for those who care for themselves, whose hearts are full of purpose, whose lives are full of deeds. Okay. Well, my heart is full of purpose and my life is full of deeds. If you desire a glimpse of our dark mistress, then this is what you must do. First, prove your tongue can wield a lie. Find someone, gain his trust, lead him to the shrine above. Next, instruct your thrall to touch the pillar of sacrifice. Its magic will ensnare him, rendering him helpless. Then, girded with certitude, plant the ceremonial blade deeply so that the waters of his heart wash over you. If your will is strong enough, it will stir Boethia in her dark mansion, and she will appear before us. Um... I'm sorry. I'll do nothing of the sort. Then you are weak and inconsequential. Am I? same spell. I'm not even gonna bother talking with these people, though. We are Lord Boethius Faithful. Have you come to test your metal? We are Lord Boethius Faithful. Have you come to test your metal? You could say that. The Lord of Plots, Deceiver of Nations, Devourer of Trinomite. The Queen of Shadows, Goddess of Destruction, he who destroys, and she who erases. Many are our Lord's lofty names, but they befit only us mortals. Intone her mighty names from now until the end of time. It is for naught. Names mean nothing to our Lord. She only cares for those who care for themselves, whose hearts are full of purpose, whose lives of deeds. All right. Well, my heart is full of purpose and my life is full of deeds, like taking down this cult. If you desire a glimpse of our dark mistress, then this is what you must do. First, prove your tongue can wield a lie. Find someone, gain his trust, lead him to the shrine above. Next, instruct your thrall to touch the pillar of sacrifice. Its magic will ensnare him, rendering him helpless. Then, girded with certitude, plant the ceremonial blade deeply so that the waters of his heart wash over you. If your will is strong enough, it will stir Boethia in her dark mansion, and she will appear before us. I'll do nothing of the sort. I'm here to take this cult down. Then you are weak and inconsequential. You're certainly entitled to your opinion. Oh, 
Well, this is ridiculous. Now I can't even fight them. Hold on here. This without me even talking to her? No, what? No! We are Lord Boethius Faithful. Have you come to test your metal? Yes, I have. I know this is a cult and I'm here to shut it down. We are forged by Boethius' example. We you are nothing. Oh, you can say whatever you want. Oh! Scarlet Witch, do something! Alright, there has to be another spell I can use. There's one more. I think it's just one. Dramora, really? All right, that didn't work. This ends now. All right. Oh. Oh. Wow, and he survived that fall too. You've lost your robes. OK. 
Okay. Hmm, a dragon bone dagger. Looks like the dagger that um, Scarlet Witch was using. But she's no longer the Scarlet Witch. Wait! Ilya! Good evening. Follow me! Lead the way! Or back to the way I'm you proud used of to what be. We've managed to accomplish. All right, we still have a um, cultist out here. Here he comes. Ah! All right, you two, go, look out! Come on. Ah! Got him. What? What's happening? Flesh is so oh, distasteful. You have caught my attention, mortal. That is most unwise. Tell me, why have you slain those who profess to follow in my ways? There were complaints from the city of Windhelm about this cult up here in the mountains, and people were frightened. So I was sent here to get rid of the cult. I abide only those whose will is aligned to my own. Those who oppose my desires perish in the most dreadful of ways. I have a purpose for which you might prove useful. But first, I must test the deftness of your guile and the strength of your purpose. Make a thrall, lure him to my shrine, prove your will is stronger, convince him to embrace the pillar of sacrifice, and then slay him without mercy. Do this, and I shall remember you, and bestow an important task upon you. Do this not, and I shall forget you, and your soul will waste in obscurity. Hmm. Oh, Scarlet Witch, I'm so sorry. I don't even think you remember anything. All right, well, we're done here. Blade of Sacrifice. So this is where I'm supposed to sacrifice someone. But I want to get up top here. Let's see. Is there another way?
Oh no, there's something up here. Trolls. A trio of trolls. to weaken them. Get them! Wow, okay. So what is this place? Hmm, it's called Dragon's Fall. And it requires a key. I don't have. All right, and it looks like there's some mine over here, too. and light armor. Hello? I've been hunting and fishing in these parts for years. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, mm -hmm. you have a partner, it looks like. Okay. What um, can I do for you, friend? Let's go. this mine? Is it above me? Looks like I'm right here. Oh no, is this a wolf or a fox? It's a wolf. All right, 
see, I see a lot of enemies out here. Are they all wolves? I think they are. Oh, that, that might be a Spriggan. abandoned. Why isn't there anyone here? Well, I guess we can check it out. It's getting close to time that I'm going to have to set sail for Solstein. Let's go. Are these just friendly people? Hello, hello people! What's going on here? I'm already looking forward to getting back above ground. Mool is the smart one. I go where he tells me. So, are you all orc workers? All right, then. I'm here to mine, Outlander. So unless you want to dig, get out. I got out. your back. Fight well. All right, well, I guess there's really nothing here, then. Ebony ore? Wow. this gas? Okay. Alright, so this is a big ebony ore mine. I have metal to dig. Well, we still have the unfinished business, I guess, with Boethia. Even though I've eradicated the cult, that, that shrine or whatever that is is still there, where someone could potentially be harmed. And maybe I should find someone that I don't like so that I can eliminate that menace. What's over here, though? Oh, is this, um, this is an orc camp. Okay. Oh, well, we came what up... What can I do for you? We came up the other way. Lead on. This is Nozzle Burr. Stay sharp. You look like an, an orc mage. Okay. I think we've uncovered everything we can for now. All right. Let's head back home and get packed and decide what we're going to do about Bo 